We would like to honor Mr. Colangelo. Mr. Colangelo has taught me a lot of entrepreneurship in, in my life. He has been a great role model and has always been there for me. Ladies and gentlemen, Jake Bristol, along with Mr. Colangelo. Number 15, Joe Lescarbo. We would like to honor Ms. Wallace. Ms. Wallace is a very nice person, an excellent teacher, and has been a family friend throughout my education. Ladies and gentlemen, Joe Lescarbo, along with Ms. Wallace. Number two, Parker Osborne would like to honor Ms. Perala. Ms. Perala has taught me how to be a good person. She was an awesome teacher and had a class. Ladies and gentlemen, Parker Osborne, along with Ms. Perala. Number 26, Logan Redman, she would like to honor Mr. Erickson. Mr. Erickson has always made me laugh, has inspired me, and taught me many life lessons. Ladies and gentlemen, Logan Radovich, along with Mr. Erickson. Number 35, Travis Tupo would like to honor Mr. Tyga. Mr. Tyga is one of the best teachers around. He is a teacher that really cares all you do in life. He is there for you when you need someone to help out. Ladies and gentlemen, Travis Tupo, along with Mr. Tyga. Austin Seconden would like to honor Mr. Rocco. I chose Mr. Rocco because I had a great three years of Spanish instruction in his class. We would also always have a good laugh about stuff in his classroom. Sincerely, you're the greatest student. Silent Spanish class name. Ladies and gentlemen, Austin Seconden with Mr. Rocco. John Bojo would like to honor Ms. Johannesson. I picked Mrs. Johansson because she was my favorite English teacher. She taught me a lot of lessons that would help me along in life. Her class was fun to attend every day. Ladies and gentlemen, John Bojo, along with Ms. Johansson. <laughs> Trevor Erickson would like to honor Mr. Sakura. Mr. Sakura has not only taught me a lot musically, but has also given me life lessons to use. He also always supports his students and has a positive outlook on things in class. Ladies and gentlemen, Trevor Erickson, along with Mr. Sakura. <laughs> Nick Stemple, I would like to honor Mrs. Lullaberty. Mrs. Lullaberty always made class fun and enjoyable. Thank you, Mrs. Lullaberty, for being such a great teacher. Ladies and gentlemen, Nick Semple, along with Mrs. Lullaberty. We'd like to thank our players for choosing and honoring these great teachers and 
season after tonight five games left on the docket and a big one tomorrow night but first we're going to get through this one here tonight between the blue jackets and the broncos thank you to general waste for all your disposal needs choose general waste sullivan candy and supply your wholesale candy and supply distributor and i corner national pioneers and engineering elastomeric pipeliners proud sponsors of blue jacket sports doug eater randy cake i'm ready to bring you all the action these are always good when you get into the old Iron Range Conference matches. Yeah, it is. A, you know, Iron Range Conference hockey, there's been some classic games over the years, especially between Hibbing and International Falls. And uh, this should be a good one tonight. Hopefully the Blue Jackets can uh, come out here with fire right out of the gates here. Should mention that the JV game, it was a 7-0 victory for the Blue Jackets. The JV squad now 18-1-1 on the year. Yeah, you know, they, they continue their dominance, and the JV team has had a great year. They've been they've been solid all year long, and they had a solid year last year and continue it here again, the JV team. Face-off's going to be controlled by the Broncos. Kostiak dumps it down in, and Eulen kicks it over to the far wall. At the left circle, Kostiak picks it up. Centering pass out in front, try to set it up for Bernard, and it comes to the right wing half wall. Shot put on. It's deflected up and over into the left corner of the Blue Jacket net. And now behind the net is Sykinen. Left wing pass. Riley versus taken away. Left circle shot. Cost the X. And a save by Eulen. Pressure early from the Broncos. And Eulen heads up play. Pokes it all the way down the ice on a passing attempt right in front of him. Comes to the Blue Jacket blue line. As the Blue Jackets will do a line change. Sykinen carries it in behind the net. Banks it off the end boards. Gets it into the right corner to Boggio. Trying to work it up was the boom, unable to do so, and it's fired down deep by Bernard. Line change Broncos as we've got 16.05 to go for this period. Brood Jackets can't seem to get it out of their own zone. Now they do. Here's the boom to center. The boom. Oh, that's actually trying to cut in. Shot sails wide from Les Garbo right point. The boom finally jumps off, and we'll get Bessel out here, and we'll get our first line on the ice. You have Lee. And Les Garbo, the wings, on Bestel's line, back on D. It's going to be Nick Versich and Scott Perunovic. Lee in behind the Bronco net. Tried to cut in, gets knocked up into the, uh, into the back of the net. A little help there from Tyler Cofield. And we got a whistle. Yeah, Broncos putting on a press right away, but uh, Blue Jack kind of had the Blue Jackets back on their heels for a minute, but the Blue Jackets now with the face off in there out of the ice. Here. Face off to the left of the goaltender, Lane Scalman, the senior. And it will be controlled by the Broncos, carried in by 
Ethan Haleman. It's out to center. Prunovich gathers it in at the Blue Jacket blue line. Cross ice pass on the right wing to Nick Versich. Gets it up to Bastel. Bastel carries it in and banks it off the right wing boards. Down deep along the end boards. In behind the net. It's Bastel. Right circle. Lee shot. Hits the post. <laughs> His first shot of the night and drills it right off the post. And he had another chance there. Les Garbo back to the left point. Prunovich dances around. And he's at the left circle, cuts deep, centering pass, and tried a one-timer from Lee from the high slot. Couldn't get much wood on it. Here's Prunovic out near the blue line. Prunovic. Prunovic again circles with the puck. Back in behind the net. Sets it up in front. Lee shot. And it just gets deflected over the top of the net. Centering pass off the stick of Lee. And it's going to be intercepted by the Broncos. And back in it all the way down the ice by Lindball. Icing. International Falls, 14-31 to go. First period, no score. Well, Jarrett Lee had three consecutive shots on goal there. The uh, first one just hit, the, just went wide of the pipe there, just close. And the last two were down low in the zone, but uh, over the top of the net. Blue Jackets have outscored their opponents 29-3 in the first period. International Falls have outscored their opponents 19-18. And shot sails wide from Allison. Right wing half wall, Broncos own, Seppola intercepts. Tries to push it up to Radovich, and now here come the Broncos. They'll work down the left wing, it's Cofield. He'll dump it deep. Ewan stops to be on the Blue Jacket net, picked up by Allison. Flipped up to Radovich over near the half wall, and now picked up, here's Allison off the center, working down the right side. He's across the blue line to the right circle, trying to centering pass, hits a skate. Then he gets a centering pass, and no one's home. Left point shot by Carney is blocked. Blue's puck's going to be grabbed by Radovich. He'll carry it down in the left corner. Tries to escape by Trevor Beckfar. He's tied up along the end boards. Trying to help out is Osborne as well. Osborne comes away with it. Left corner centering pass out front. Tipped away as they tried to hit Seppola between the circles. Radovich back out to Seppola. High slot. His shot's deflected off a skate into the right corner. And it'll trickle out to neutral ice. Back pedaling was Allison, left wing pass to Carney, he'll fire it in and the Blue Jackets will finish up that line change with 13.25 to go period one. Shots on goal, 2-1 in favor of the Blue Jackets, no score. In the left corner, the Broncos zone, they'll work it up to the left wing half wall, it's Bernard with it, he'll carry it in, banks it off the end board, over near the right corner to Boyum. Boyum's tied up along the wall, trying to dig it loose, for the Blue Jackets with the boom, he's got it, spins around, shot, and a save by Scalman, no rebound. Yeah, a nice spin around move by Zach DeBoom. That's a tough, place to, tough play to make, and he made it to perfection other than he didn't, didn't get the goal, but shot right between the goalie's pads there, and Skullman made a big save there. Face on to the left is Skullman, won by the Blue Jackets. They try to get it back to Bojo at the right point, banks off the boards all the way back down in the Blue Jackets zone. Again, to take him out is Nemec. Nemec with it behind Jacket neck, spins around. Nemec with the puck into the... Riley Nemec cycles it down deep. He'll get it to Kostiuk. Kostiuk now trying to help out as well as Bernard. In deep by Nemec. It's going to be picked up by Saikinen in the right corner. He'll move it around to Bogio. Back to the right corner to Saikinen. Left wing pass to Riley Versus. Gets it up to DeBoom. Here's DeBoom. Comes across on the left side. Oh, and he set it up. Back to DeBoom. Go! Boy, what a tic-tac-toe play. And he gave it right back. It was Matson, I believe, who got it right back to DeBoom. And Zach buries it. And it's a 1-0 Blue Jacket lead for Zach. That's number 15. And this will come at 4 for 4.42. Yeah, perfect tic-tac-toe pass between Matson to DeBoom. And the Duke DeBoom yeah, Matson, it up. He flipped it to Matson, and Matson gave it right back. Here's Lee on a breakaway. Cuts in, shot, save by Skalman. They got the long pass to the blue line. So it's Riley Versich and Matson on the assist on a DeBoom goal. And Zach is now tied Jared for the team lead at 15. 
In the right corner of the Broncos zone. Les Garbo is tied up along the wall. They get it to Lee. He comes off the end boards. Oh, and he passed it over, but no one was home. Knipes, left point. Chip to Les Garbo. Center, he passed. Lee is shot. And another save by Skullman, who's been busy. Along the end boards. Lee trying to jig it loose. It's in the skates of Alleman. And uh, Alleman comes away with it. Now he's tied up along the end boards again by Lee. Into the right corner. Trying to dig a loose is right. Out to the right point. Perunovic with the puck. He's going to work it over to Knipes. Knipes couldn't control it, but throws it towards the net. And it's cleared in the left corner of the Broncos zone. They'll backhand it down the ice. Picked up by Perunovic behind the blue jacket net. Works it up to Knipes. Left wing pass. Out to center on the right side. Here's Bestel. Bestel. Stops right circle, falls down, try to get it to Radovic. Lee picks it up. His shot's deflected to the end board. Cleared around by Costia. Comes out near the right point. Prunovic flips it to the half wall on the right side. Cross ice pass, Seppler, wrist shot, and a save by Skullman. Just got a piece of it. In behind the net now, Seppler back out to the right point to Prunovic. Prunovic dancing in the blue line. Gets it over to Knight's left circle. His shot's deflected wide going to be picked up by Seppelin near the right corner. He'll work it to Osborne. Here's Osborne working up the far wall. He'll just push it back along the end boards. Kostiuk has it. He'll fire it around. Kept alive at the right point though by Perunovic. Seppelin with the puck. Perunovic comes back to get it. Seppelin was tied up. Here's Perunovic. High slot Seppelin right circle and he can't control it. Rolls into the right corner. Tried to put it in behind the net. Kept alive on the clearing attempt at the right point by Knipes over to the left circle. Perunovic and just tipped wide by Seppola. Here's Seppola, left corner. Back up to Perunovic at the blue line. And he's able to control it. Knipes over near the top of the right circle. Back to Perunovic. Perunovic with the puck. He'll go low into the left corner. Sets it up now, Seppola. Back to the blue line, Knipes. Right circle sets it up. It's Osborne off the right wing half wall. He'll spin around. Back out to the right point, Perunovic. Perunovic with the puck. It looks like a power play the way we're moving this puck around. Here's Perunovic left corner. Sets it up now. They'll get it back out to Radovic. Knipes, the shot goal, deflected in front. I think Seppola got a piece of it, we'll find out. But it's two nothing Blue Jackets. <laughs> well, yeah, exactly. What that looked like a power play. In front. Yeah, I think it did. I think Dick, Dick Seppola's probably gonna get credit for this. 7.45 is going to be the time of the goal, and it's 2-0 Blue Jackets, and it looks like they may give it to Knipes. Yeah, he shot the initial shot there, so maybe Knipes is going to get the credit. If that's the case, that's Anthony's first of the year. We'll find out. Maybe Nick didn't touch it. Blue Jackets up 2-0. Let's get our scoring. Shot on net, Ewan holds on. Brunovich and Seppel on the helpers, and the Blue Jackets up 2 to nothing. First goal of the year for tonight. Way to go, Anthony. Tied up near the left wing half wall, shot put on. Big save off the stick of Bernard for Euler. Taken away, out high slot. Shot sails wide on a wrister from Nemec. Into the right corner now. Behind the net with it is Costia. Throws it in front of the net. Nemec had a chance, then he was tied up. Euler flopped over to his right and throws the puck. 8.32 to go, period number one. Two nothing Blue Jackets. Face off controlled by the Blue Jackets. Lee. Try to get it out to center to Bestel. Fired into the Blue Jackets zone. Sykin and knocks it down. He'll gather it in. Left wing pass to Bogio out to center. Bestel. In the skates, here's Lee. Across on the left side, down in the left corner. Lee avoids a check from Beckbar. Lee, left corner. Pulled off the wall by Les Garbum. Knocked off his stick. Out to center with the puck is Lindball. Lindball. Ridden off the plate, the Blue Jacket blue line. Sykin carries it in beyond the Blue Jacket net with 7.57 to go period one. 
2-0 Blue Jackets. Pucks out to neutral ice. And it's going to be dumped back deep by the Broncos. That's Beckbar. Actually, it's Lindball. Lindball gets a, the puck away from Bojo behind the net. Comes to the right wing half wall. And intercepted on a cross-ice pass by Lascarbo. He gets it to Lee. Lee. Lee gets by the D. Comes in. Shot. And a save put on by Skalman. Just getting a piece of it. Out near the left point. Shot sails wide and a wrister from Bestel. Comes all the way to the right point. Bojo dumps it deep. He'll zip it along the wall into the left corner. Picked up by Lee. Here's Lee with the puck. Lee out near the blue line. Now to the right circle. Lee just skating around in circles. Now Les Carbo has it. Les Carbo near the right corner. Avoids the check of right. Les Carbo puts it back in behind the net to Lee with seven minutes to go in the period. 2-0 Blue Jackets. Bestel with the puck. He's ridden off the play near the left wing half wall. Banked off the right wing boards of the Blue Jacket blue line. And now Lee gathers in the loose puck. Carries it across. Here's Lee right circle. Les Carbo bangs it off the crossbar. And then Lee just casually flips at it and it goes right over the top of the net. <laughs> Jared's like, oh, I'll just try this. <laughs> yeah. And it just went over the top of the net. He made it look easy too. Six and a half to go period one. Two nothing Blue Jackets. That's dumped in on net from center by Beckmar. Eulen will direct it to the left wing half wall. Blue Jackets come away with it. Perunovic puts the pass out. That's tipped by Seppler to the Bronco blue line, and they'll push it to the Blue Jacket blue line. Perunovic will carry it and turn it over. Oh, and then going into the goaltender was Bernard after he took the shot. Now it's tipped on the ice. Here comes Parker Osborne, one of the fastest guys on the team. Parker lost an edge. He couldn't quite cut the corner. Here's Parker. Parker out near the blue line. Osborne flying. Osborne's going to set it up. He'd like to leave it for Allison. And coming away with it is Bernard to center. Knocked off his stick. Pushed back into the Broncos zone near the left wing half ball with 5.42 to go in the period. Fired in by Carney. Blocker saved to the end boards by Skullman. In the right corner, trying to dig a loose is Radovich. Seppola takes a player up along the end boards. And the Broncos come away with it. They'll push it to center. And with the puck, dumping it in from center is Lawrence. Kept alive at the Blue Jacket blue line. Nice back check by Seppola to just take Kostiak out of the play. Radovich sets it up for Riley versus shot, save, puck loose. And it's knocked into the left corner. Riley Versed stops near the left wing half wall, dumps it deep. Jumps over the stick of Seppola into the right corner. Seppola gives chase. He avoids a check from Boyum. In behind the net, Seppola spins, loses an edge. Loose puck picked up by Riley Versed. Sets up right point. Allison to Carney at the left point. His shot's deflected wide. Riley Versed gathers in the loose puck. In behind the Bronco net. Now into the left corner with 4.35 to go in the period. 2-0 Blue Jackets. Manson. Up near the blue line, gets it to Carney at the left circle. Here, carry it deep. Carney, left corner, centering pass is knocked down. Along the end boards, Carney trying to dig a loose, comes away with it at the right corner. To the right circle, Carney fights off a check, gets a shot off, and a save by Skullman after it was redirected in front. And now they set it up, and a shot by the boom sails wide from between the circles. And the Blue Jackets just pouring on the pressure. 4.05 to go in period one, 2 nothing. Hibbing Chisholm. Blue Jackets, now it's Riley versus right circle, wrist shot, in front the boom, another one. Got the rebound, he was camped to the right of Skullman. That puck came right to him and he buried it. He's got two tonight and 16 on the year. Yeah, nice job by Riley versus here to get the initial shot on goal. Got the rebound out there and lay in there, open net for Zach DeBoom to knock it home. 13.03 will be the time of the Zach DeBoom goal. It's like the Blue Jackets are on power plays when they get the puck down to that end of the ice. It's moved the puck at will. That's too much for the Broncos, you can tell right now. Yeah, it's yeah. They're not it's, they're it's, not in this game. It's overwhelming. <laughs> it's overwhelming the Broncos is what it's doing. <laughs> Riley Versich and Matson on the assist. 
Here come the Blue Jackets again. Sykinen had it knocked off his stick near the left point. Comes out to neutral where Lee gathers it in. Bastler with the puck now. To Lee at the Bronco blue line. Carried in offside. As Lascarbo is pretty tall, but he doesn't have a seven-foot leg. Yeah. He tried, he, to, he, he tried to hold it on the line. a little bit more there. 3.15 to go, period number one, three nothing Blue Jackets. Well, Marcy's got only uh, 13 shots here. What, the JV team had about 58? That was 43 to three at one point. Yeah, it, it was 50 something, 58 last time I looked, I think. <laughs> but I don't know what it ended up. Dumped down in along the end boards. Bessel comes away with it. Bessel centering pass right to Les Garbo. Here come the Broncos. In the skates with Bernard, comes to the Blue Jacket blue line and flip back out off the glass by Boggio. Dumped back down in by the Broncos. Picked up behind the net by Sykinen. Left for Boggio into the right corner. Trying to dig it loose is Kane Koskia. Here come the Blue Jackets two on two. Left wing pass. Bestel to Lee a little bit too far in front. Lee's going to gather it in. In behind the net. He's rubbed out on the play by Beckvar. At the right wing half wall. Beckvar banks it off the left wing boards to center. Nick Versich has it. Left wing pass to Knights. Knights fires it in. And it bounces past the goaltender. Into the left corner. Now the left wing half wall for Bernard. Bernard checked up on a play by Cephala. Unable to hold the zone at the left point was Knight. Carried across by Nemec. Nemec can't get by the D line. Change Broncos with 2.08 to go in the period. 3 0 Blue Jackets. At center, it's Osborne. Cuts across on the right wing. Osborne centering pass. Tried to get it to Radovich, but he was tied up. In the left corner of the Broncos zone. Broncos banking off the right wing boards. It's going to roll down in the Blue Jackets zone. Back to pick it up. For the Blue Jackets is Radovich. Circles behind the Blue Jacket net. Tries a right wing pass to Cephala. Picked back up by Radovich. Banked off the boards. Down in the right corner of the Broncos zone. With 1.38 to go in the period. Taken away behind the net by Osborne. He's tied up in the left corner now by Brady Wright. It's at the left wing half wall. Trying to dig a loose is Manson. At the left point, Knipe shots blocked, knocked down. Here come the Broncos. It's Brady Wright. Try a head man pass the Lindball side. 122 to go. Period number one. Three nothing Blue Jackets. Yeah, all Blue Jackets here, Doug. After about the first two minutes, it's other than nothing but Blue Jackets. Other two minutes, Skullman has seen a lot of blue, light, white, white, blue coming out of him here tonight. Blue Jackets with the puck, Prunovich gets it to DeBoom, who's got two here in the first period. DeBoom collides with Bernard at center, is able to get that puck in, knocked down. DeBoom a shot, oh, and it oh. sails just high Can't from the high slot. He was going upstairs with it, and it went just high. From the left corner, here come the Broncos, it's Kane Kostiuk to center. Tipped into the Blue Jackets zone by Nemec, picked up by Allison, just under a minute to go in period one. Madsen out to center to DeBoom. DeBoom, Riley Versich, left wing pass. Versich back to DeBoom, and he couldn't pull the trigger as he was fighting off Ethan Allman. And here's a shot that sails through the crease by Riley Versich. Sets it up right point. Allison Richter is blocked along the end boards with 33 seconds to go. Into the right corner of the Broncos zone. Tried to clear. Allison kept it alive. Here's Prunovich, left point. Back to Allison at the right point. Allison, wrist shot. That's deflected. Skullman may have got a piece of it. And it's cleared down the ice by the Broncos. Icing coming up with 17 seconds to go. Good first period by the boys in blue and white. Yes, very, very, very solid, very efficient. Nice period here. Face off to the right of Skullman with 17.5 seconds to go. And the Blue Jackets, a three-zip lead. Cross ice pass. Oh, he tried to get Allison breaking in the backside. Perunovic did. And Allison just couldn't get to the pass. Eight seconds to go into the left corner. Lee with it. Spins around. Lee with the puck. End boards. Lescarbo back to Lee. Lee back in. Oh! There and it is. Jarrett said, you know what? Uh-uh. We're both tied at 16, Zach. Four nothing. That's at the buzzer. With like a second to go. But for Jarrett, that's number 16. That ties him for the lead with Zach DeBoe. That's a crushing goal for the Broncos to give up late in the 
Right last at the final buzzer. seconds. Right. We'll get our official scoring coming up in a moment. At the end of one period, though, Blue Jackets on top, four to nothing. So it can be a Scarbo and Vesto on the assist. And that's what's going to mark it at 16.59. So the Blue Jackets, after one period of play, are on a roll as they are up four to nothing. Our first intermission's on the way next. It's Blue Jacket Hockey on 106.3 WMFG. After one period of play from the historic Gibby Memorial Arena, it's all Blue Jackets here. They withstood the little surge for the first couple of minutes by the International Falls Broncos, and then the Blue Jackets took over the game. They lead 4 to nothing after one period of play, Randy. Yeah, the uh, Blue Jackets uh, looked very, very efficient and very solid in that first period. And always nice to get a goal in the last few seconds of the period and add to that lead and that's always a big uh, momentum booster when you, when you do something like that. Why don't you run down our stats from our first period? Blue Jackets first goal coming at 4 minutes and 42 seconds in. Zach DeBoom picking up his 15th goal of the season gets the assist from Dylan Matson and Riley Versage. Then the Blue Jackets would add to their lead and make it 2 to nothing. At 7.45 into the period, the goal coming from number 16, Anthony Knipes, knock, notching his first goal of the season with the assist from Scott Perunovic and Nick Seppola. And then the Blue Jackets make it 3 to nothing at 13.03. This time, Zach DeBoom adds his second goal of the period and second goal of the game. He picks up his 16th goal on the year. The assist again from Dylan Matson and Riley Versich. And then the Blue Jackets would make it four to nothing. This time, Jared Lee finally finding the back of the net after several good chances in this first period. He notches his 16th goal of the season. He gets the assist uh, from Joe Lascarbo and uh, Jake Bestel. Uh, that goal coming at 16:59 was what was marked in the books for that goal. And then goaltender saves for International Falls Broncos Lane Skalman. Hit 11 saves, and Ryan Eulen of your Hibbing Chisholm Blue Jackets yet four. No power plays, no penalties in that uh, first period of play. After one period in the books, it's your Hibbing Chisholm Blue Jackets four, International Falls Broncos zero. Only a couple other boys hockey games going on tonight of note. North Shore's at Denfeld, no score being reported on that. And Colcasco Carlton is at Hermantown. And they're late in the first with 5.24 to go in Hermantown. Hermantown has a one to nothing lead over Cloquet Asco Carlton. Meanwhile, in girls hockey tonight, there's a couple of them that we're keeping an eye on. We'll try to get scores for you. Proctor Hermantown's at Hayward. Superior's at North Shore. And Duluth Marshall is at Cloquet Asco Carlton. All those games other than Proctor Hermantown's are going to have probably some bearing, Randy, on how everything shakes out for Sunday's seating for 7A girls playoffs. Yeah, certainly, you know, those are you know, some of those games. It'll be interesting to see how it ends up. And uh, right now it's really close. But uh, next couple days, you know, tonight's games, a few of those few games in there uh, could make a difference in the seedings coming up here on Sunday. Girls basketball is over in Virginia tonight. The boys are off until tomorrow as they'll host North Branch. And I'm taking a look here, and Duluth Marshall and Cloquet, no score being reported. Obviously, no score being reported from Silver Bay between Superior and North Shore. And let's top it off, no score being reported between Proctor Hermantown and Hayward, the co-op with Ashland. Go figure. <laughs> yeah. Here I was trying to catch, you know, get everybody up to speed on this. And they don't bother to put the scores in. You know, it's kind of funny. And, you know, folks, so we are always talking about this. Um, the Star Tribune has tried to become the central point for all the scores, all the stats and everything in high school sports. Not just hockey, but basketball, baseball, volleyball, wrestling, um, you name it. And what surprises me 
is when you go to like I'm at MN Girls Basketball Hub right now just to go and see if I can find a, a score of the Hibbing Virginia game. Why, why they don't have a lot of people doing this live like we are down here to the left of us because our score is being reported as the game is going. Right. And a lot of schools choose not to do that and they'll input it after the game is over. Yeah, I don't know why they don't get more teams involved to, to do that or how that all works, but... And no score being reported from Virginia in the girls' basketball game. We're on a roll here tonight, aren't we? Yeah, we're almost perfect <laughs> for no <laughs> scores. <laughs> the only score we got, Hermantown late in the first, one and nothing over Cloak Casco, Carlton, and boys hockey. All right, the ice has been resurfaced. Both squads of cheerleaders that are doing their little uh, thing for us here to this tune. We'll take a quick break, come back with second period action. After one from the historic Hibbing Memorial Arena. Hibbing Chisholm, four. And International Falls Broncos, nothing. It's blue jack and hockey. And welcome back, everyone, to the historic Hibbing Memorial building. Both squads are out on the ice. We'll get period number two underway. It's Doug Dieter and Randy Cajun bringing to the action. Good night so far. Zach DeBoom, a couple of goals. Riley Versage with two points. Dylan Manson with two points as well. Both of them, a couple of assists. I think Garrett Lee barely had one goal in that period, but I think, Doug, that he had the uh, most scoring opportunities out of any Blue Jacket in that first period. Well, he banged one off the pipe. He sailed one nonchalantly right across the top of the net. Thanks once again to Sullivan Candy and Supply, or Wholesale Candy and Supply Distributor. I record national pioneers and engineering elastomeric pipe owners and general waste for all your disposal needs. Shoes, general waste, proud sponsors of Blue Jacket Sports. Blue Jackets outscoring their opponents 34 to 14 in the second period. Meanwhile, the Broncos are being outscored 24 to 23 in period number two. And Jarrett and Zach are now tied for the team lead in goals, 16 apiece. Yeah. They're looking across the locker room at Jake going, uh, you better hurry up and catch up. Yeah, you gotta gotta get her going, Jake. Gotta get, gotta get caught up with it. <laughs> yeah, I was looking uh, at the stats and everything getting going. That kid from Laverne, that Jackson Nelson, or whatever, 57 goals. <laughs> uh, well, he, what I've been told, he also logs a lot of ice time. He plays forward, and then he plays defense. I was like, holy cow. So I, but that's still impressive. It's still, no question, it's still a oh, very impressive mark, but he. He's a sophomore, and he's going to be going to the Gophers. He's on the ice a lot, though, but he's a great player. No Blue, ja Blue Jackets will be moving left to right. Face-off controlled by the Broncos. Fired in the Blue Jacket zone by Beck Park. Brunovich will be on the Blue Jacket net. He's going to leave it now behind her for Nick Versich. Nick Versich spins around, avoids a check from Nemec. Right wing pass to Les Carbo, a little bit too far. Knocked back down in the left corner of the Blue Jacket zone by Costia. Now it's Nick Versich, flips it off the end boards. Down near the left corner, Les Carbo will battle with it. With Costia, Costia puts a shot on from the weird angle off the left wall and a save by Eulen. Out to center comes a Les Carbo. Les Carbo right circle, tried to set it up to Bestel and it actually got in the states of a Bronco. Here's Lee, Lee high slot, puts it right in front of Les Carbo and he couldn't pull the trigger. In laying on his belly is Skalman to make the save as Les Carbo couldn't elevate the shot. At center, it's Lee, leaves it for Prunovich. Now to Nick Versich. He's out to center, pushes it to Lee, banked out the left wing board to Bestel, left circle. Bestel sets it up, Lee. Lee comes in, shot. Oh, and a save by Scalming. Just got a piece of it. Fired down the ice by the Broncos for an icing with 15.51 to go, period two. And it's a four zip Blue Jacket lead. I should mention in overtime, too, a game we were watching, Randy. Uh, number two, Breck, hosting number nine, St. Paul Academy, both in class A. Breck comes from behind and gets a 4-3 victory in overtime. So, yeah. no movement from Breck either as they'll be planted at number two unless Hermantown loses the game. Right in front, Riley Versage shoots it up and over from between the circles. He was going high and went a little too high. Into the right corner. Brady Wright had it momentarily. 
Ridden off the play by Manson. In behind the net, Riley Versich. Riley Versich left corner of the Broncos zone, tied up by Cofield. Talks Lewis, Manson will battle for it. Manson going at it with Wright. And now the Broncos win ball. He's out the center. Win ball. Stick handles of the Blue Jacket Blue Line. Brings it across. Shot from the top of the left circle on a wrister. Glove save, Ulan. 15-14 to go, period number two, Blue Jackets lead. Four to nothing. 57 goals for Jackson Nelson from Laverne. The second closest is a guy from Redwood Valley with 33. Wow. <laughs> that's a lot of goals. Holy Jeez. moly. Yeah, that's a lot of goals. He's dominating, dominating there. Yeah, he's got 95 points on the season. The closest to him is his teammate, Chaz Smedsrud, and he's 20 behind at 75. Here come the Blue Jackets at Cephala. Stops down in the left corner of the Broncos zone. Back on to the blue line. Carney shots blocked and knocked down. Nice play by Brock O'Loughlin, the junior winger. Knocked down into the Blue Jackets zone. Allison. Gets it into Carney, the left corner. Tried to work it up. Now it's Radovich into the left corner. And at the left wing half wall, cross ice pass. Banked off the boards to Osborne. Osborne, right wing pass to Radovich. He's across the blue line. Stick handle. Right circle. Carries it in behind the Bronco net. Out to the blue line, Perunovic. They'll set it up. Allison back to Perunovic. Perunovic tries to take a whack at it. Then get, gets it back under control. Throws it in the left corner. And the Broncos come away with it. The pass is off a skate, comes to the Blue Jacket blue line, and tipped down in by Osborne into the right corner of the Broncos zone with 14.08 to go, period 2, 4 nothing. Blue Jackets. Banked off the left wing boards all the way down in the Blue Jacket zone, no wave any icing, Prunovic will pick it up. Prunovic trying to avoid Bernard, he'll leave it in behind the Blue Jacket net, now for Allison with 13.52 to go in the period. Blue Jackets up, 4 nothing. Radovic. Or that's actually Bessel, excuse me, brings it across. He'll stop near the right point. Bessel going to cut in, tries to dance through traffic. He goes down, and Prunovic has it near the blue line. He's double teamed, and here come the Broncos with the puck to center. It's Kane Kostiuk. Kostiuk dumps it down in, line change Broncos with 13 and a half to go, period two. <coughs> Shot from the right wing half ball on net, and a save by Eulen. Escarbo to center. Bestel with the puck. Bestel. Had it knocked off his stick by Lindball. Now Les Carbo has it. Gets it to Lee. Here's Lee trying to make a move. Comes in Lee. Oh, and he just got too deep it looked like. He had the goalie and everybody beat. Just couldn't control it. To the Blue Jacket blue line is Pod Pescar. Takes the shot from the left circle. Directed with the stick by Ewan. Over along the right wing wall. Back out to center. Les Carbo. Tried to backhand it to Bastel, a little bit too far down. Line change, Blue Jackets with 12.45 to go in the period. Broncos push it out to neutral. Comes to the Blue Jacket, blue line, Matson over to the right circle, Knights. Right in the tape to DeBoom, he's got two goals tonight. DeBoom tries to get by the D, does down in the left corner. He'll spin around, stop, it's tied up along the wall. And is taken away by Cofield. Cofield, right corner of the Broncos zone, ridden off the play by Manson. Cofield battling with DeBoom into the right corner of the Broncos zone. Manson had it, now DeBoom's got it. DeBoom, right wing half wall, pushes it down in behind the net. Centering pass from Manson. They tried to get it to Riley Versich and he couldn't get any wood on it. 12 minutes to go in the period. That would be number two, and it's 4 nothing Blue Jackets. Right circle, Manson. Knocked off his stick by Pod Pescar. Out to center, and it's flipped in by Wright. And it's going to be an icing on the Broncos. He was on the wrong side of center. 11.46 to go, period two. It's a 4-0 Blue Jacket lead. The 42 assists now by um, Scott Perunovic puts him two behind the lead in the state for assists with Chaz Medrud of Laverne, who has 44. Into the right corner, it's Matson, tied up by the Broncos, Boyum. Right wing half wall, it's DeBoom, he'll just zip it around, in behind the net. Matson lets it roll to the left wing half wall, he's taken and rubbed out on the play, and it's flipped down into the Blue Jacket zone by the Broncos. Bogio picks it up, Bogio, he's gonna leave it, 
for Saikinen. Saikinen banked off the right wing boards to Radovich. Here's Radovich trying to get by the D. Nice defensive work by Boyum. To the right circle. Lawrenson uh, gets it to Boyum. Boyum pushes it down in the Blue Jacket zone. Left corner throws it on net. Saved by Ewan. Rebound flipped at him from Nemec. And an easy save for Ewan as he had the angle cut off. We'll have a base off to the right of Ryan Ewan. With 10.59 to go, period two. Four nothing Blue Jackets. Knocked into the left corner of the Blue Jacket zone. Allison will grab it. Allison tried to avoid the check of Bernard. Wasn't that successful. In behind the Blue Jacket net, Carney. Taradovich, cross ice pass off the skate to Osborne. Down the ice, we'll get an icing coming up on the Blue Jackets. 10.42 to go. Period two, four nothing Blue Jackets. Got a little decent crowd on hand again. Nice to see a student section starting to fill up. Yeah, nice, uh, nice student section here tonight. Blue Jackets trying to get to 19 and one on the year. Back ended into the Blue Jacket zone. Carney's pass, I think, actually hit a skate of a ref into the left corner of the Blue Jacket zone. Allison gets it up to Radovich, banks it off the right wing boards. It's Sepala pushing it down the ice into the right corner of the Broncos zone. He'll leave it for Radovich. Radovich with the puck. Knocked off his stick, comes to the right wing half wall, picked up by Osborne. Osborne couldn't quite control it as he came off the wall, and it rolls out the center. Radovich will dump it deep into the Broncos zone, where it's going to be stopped by Skullman behind the net, picked up by Seppola, carried into the right corner of the Broncos. Now along the end boards, Osborne will battle with Cofield. Cofield tried to carry it in the corner. Osborne comes away with it. Osborne out near the right point. He's going to cycle it back into the right corner for Les Garbo. As Les Garbo just bumps off Cofield as Cofield tried to come in and give him a check. Dumped down in the Blue Jacket zone. Icing on the Broncos once again with 9.39 to go. Here in period number two, it's 4 nothing. Doug Jeter for Andy Catron bringing to the action. Face off to the left is Stallman. Vestal wins the draw with Kostiak. Lee, slap shot, hits traffic. Vestal a shot that hit traffic as he tried to get that rebound by the goaltender. And it's another icing coming up on the Broncos. Broncos seem like right now just uh, content to ice the buck here, Doug. It almost seems like the Broncos are resigned to the fact that they're not going to be able to generate much here at all. Nick Versich, wrist shot, blocker saves Coleman, comes back out high slot. Sets it up, bouncing puck. Lee couldn't get to it. And near the blue line, staying alive with Nick Versich. Sets it up for Les Garbo. His shot hits the side of the net. He'll gather it in, gets it back out to the right point to Perunovic. Perunovic throws it towards the net. Try to get Bestel and the Broncos. Bank it off the right wing boards down in the Blue Jacket zone. Brunovich grabs the puck off the pass of Nick Versich. And behind the net rolls into the left corner of the Blue Jacket zone. Along the end boards, Brunovich checked up on a play by Nemec. Brunovich with the puck. Long right wing pass tipped in by Les Garbo. He'll give chase down in the right corner of the Broncos zone to Bestel. Bestel carries it along the end boards. He's ridden off the play by Boyum. Here come the Broncos with the puck. They're out to center. They try to work it on a left wing pass to Nemec, and Nemec pops it down deep. Line change Broncos with 8.25 to go in the period. 4-0 Blue Jackets flip down the ice, trying to hit Lee at the blue line, and he was offside anyway. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he was in, he was in about three feet offside there. But it was a nice, nice attempt. Uh, just didn't get to him in time before he went across the blue line. They didn't call offside, though. They're bringing it all the way back down to the right of you. Yeah, let's do a line pass. Face-off controlled by the Blue Jackets. Bozio pinned up in the left corner of the Blue Jackets zone. 
It's right with the puck. Gets it to the right circle of Rishab put on by Pod Pascar. And it looked like it got deflected over the top of the net. Here at the right corner of the Blue Jacket zone, coming off the wall with it, is psyching it. Right wing pass to Manson at center. Matson's across on the right side, cuts in, tried to split two defenders, rolls off his stick, picked up in the right corner. Battling for the puck is Allman. Matson. And now it's put it down the ice by Allman. To the Blue Jacket blue line. Allison will battle with Lindball. Into the right corner of the Blue Jacket zone. Allison from his knees puts it in behind the net to Saikinen. Saikinen can't control it. Broncos try to center him pass, and it's knocked away by Trevor Erickson seeing his first action here tonight. Left wing pass to Riley Versich, who dumps it down deep. Rolls into the right corner. Allerman picks it up, had it taken away by Matson. Matson trying to work it around, and now Riley Versich comes out of the corner. Shot saved with the stick, and flipped down the ice by the Broncos. That'll roll, but they'll wave any icing. Line change for both squads here with 6.55 to go in period two. Four nothing, Hibbing Chisholm. Cross ice pass, tried to hit Radovich too far in front of him, and Alleman couldn't clear it, though, as he tried to clear it and cleared it right into Radovich. Here's Cephala. Gets it to Osborne. Osborne circles right corner. Back out to the right point. Wrist shot put on. Backhand, and somehow Skolman made that save on Radovich. That wrister from the right point by Allison got through traffic. Skolman makes the save. Camped right there was Radovich, and somehow he robs Radovich and makes a nice save. Yeah, it was a big, big save for Skolman there. He had Radovich in front, and then also Nick Seppla out there too as well. So a couple players camped right out front. Shots 21 to 11 in favor of the Blue Jackets. They lead four zip with 6:25 to go in the period. And behind the Bronco net, it's Boyum. Works it up on the far side, cross ice pass to no one. Gathered in by Beckbar, banked off the left wing boards, pushed into the Blue Jacket zone. And carried right back out by Allison. Allison checked off the play, but it's carried in by Radovich. Radovich trying to avoid everybody, knocks off his stick out the center. Allison has it, and he'll flip it back into the Bronco zone. Broncos come away with it, and it's an icing. They tried to get Bernard at the blue line. It was a little bit too far and bring it back. 5.55 to go in period number two. Blue Jackets up for zip. We'll have a face off to the left of the Broncos goaltender, Lane Skalman. Vessel on the draw with right. Lee has the puck. He'll spin around near the half wall on the right wing. Spins back around. Lee. Right point, Nick Versich, thrown towards the net, deflected wide. Picked up by Bestel. Left wing half wall, banked off the boards to Les Garbo. Les Garbo avoids the check, carries it in behind the net. Picked up by Bestel, or Lee, in front of Bestel, and his shot sails wide, that may have been deflected. He had some open net to look at there. Lee along the end boards, he's tied up by a couple of Bronco players. Vestal had it momentarily, knocked off his stick. Here come the Broncos. Passes in the skates, a wind ball. Banks off the right wing boards of the Blue Jacket zone. And Prunovic just carries it in behind the Blue Jacket net. Gets some steam going. He's the center. There's Prunovic. Tries to set it up in front of Radovich, and he just couldn't get anything going. It was actually Bestel he was trying to set up. Prunovic with the puck. He's going to leave it. Less Garbo, left circle. Bounce off his stick. Knocked to the left wing half wall in the Broncos zone. Brunovic, here we go, it's starting to look like a power play again. Bessel in front, comes in, can't get the shot off, and when he finally does, Stallman had the angle cut off. 4.45 to go, period number two, four nothing Blue Jackets. Yeah, at, at times, Blue Jackets dominating this whole game, but I mean, at times it looks like, just like, we looks got like an extra guy over. Even though it's five on five, <laughs> it looks like a five on four. Yeah. Blue Jackets with the puck. Gets it back up to the right point. Right wing half ball. Matson with it. Boyd's a check. Pulls off his stick into the right corner of the Broncos zone. Matson tied up along the wall. Comes to the right circle. The boom tonight. Right point. His shot's blocked in the skates of Nemec. Into the right corner of the Broncos zone once again. Trying to dig a Lewis is the boom and Matson with a couple of Broncos. Down there as well as Kostiak's one of them. And Elliman's the other. 
Kept alive, right point. Here's Knipes, high slot, throws it towards the net, just kind of flipped it. And right there was Matson. It's a good thing Skalman held on because Matson was camped right in front of him. Yeah, Matson would have had a great opportunity to get a rebound and a knock, knock one home there. But Skalman, again, he's made some couple uh, huge saves here in the second period for the Broncos. 4 nothing, Blue Jacket lead. Blue Jackets control it. Riley Versage flips it up and out of play as he tried to use the high glass on the end to get it around. Faceoff will come out to neutral ice with 4.04 to go in period number two. The boom on the draw and he'll get tossed. So it'll be Riley Versich taking the draw against Wright. Tied up. And Matson brings it across the blue line. Matson, right wing half off. Had it taken away. Now Riley Versich has it. High slot. Sets up to boom. It passes behind him. Rolls into the right corner. Picked up by the Broncos. Broncos can't clear it. Matson kept it alive momentarily. It's pushed out to neutral ice. Gathered in by Knipes. He'll fire it in deep. 3.41 to go in the period. 4-0 Blue Jackets. Late in period two. Along the end boards, Masson's tied up by Beckfar. Coming up from the left corner, it was Riley Versa trying to get it to the boom. Matson in behind the net. The boom will gather in the puck. It rolls off his stick. He'll go get it near the left corner. Back to Matson. It's going to roll all the way into the right corner. Riley Versa goes into the corner with Boyum. Trying to dig it loose, and the Broncos come away with it. Brady Wright, he can't clear. The boom kept it alive near the right point. There goes the boom stick flying courtesy of Pod Pescar. And we got an interference coming up on Pod Pescar. And that was simply for flipping the stick right out of the boom's hands. So this will come at 1354, first power play of the night for the Blue Jackets. Blue Jackets are 30 point. 7% on the power play, 23 goals on 41 attempts. The Falls penalty kill at 85.2. They've given up nine goals and 61 penalty kills. There's the Blue Jackets, Lee at the right point. Works it down to Bestel, also out there is Radovich and DeBoom. And Prunovic back to DeBoom, left wing half wall. To Prunovic at the left circle. Out to Lee, a one-timer and a blocked in front. Nicely done by Nemec. Pucks at center. Grabbed by DeBoom. Carried across on the right wing. Cross ice. Gets it to Perunovic. Near the left point. Flips it over to Lee at the right point. Sets it up high slot. Bestel a shot deflected up and over the net. Bestel gathers it in. At the right wing half wall. Back to Lee at the right point. Throw it toward the net. Radovich couldn't chip it towards the net. Brunovich, he'll walk the blue line. He'll carry it over and out of the right point. Right circle, one-timer to boom, and it sails just wide. Right wing, half ball pushed down. Bestel with the puck. Here's Bestel up top. Bestel with the puck. His pass is about knee high to Radovich and comes in behind the net. Radovich with 56 seconds to go in the right corner. Here's Brunovich, right point. 50 seconds to go in the power play. Brunovich carries it in behind the net, sets it up right circle. Vassal had a wide open net, and I don't know how he missed that. I thought he was going to knock that upper court, upper shelf there. So did I. I don't know how he missed it, because I saw how wide open the net was from our angle. Here's Radovich, left wing half ball. Vassal's going to be going, how did I miss that? <laughs> He's going to want that one back. Here's Brunovich in behind the net. Brunovich with the puck. Brunovich back up top to Lee. Left circle, the boom, spins around. Perunovic, left corner, goes in behind the net with 13 seconds to go into power play. And a wraparound by the boom in the goal. He's got the hat trick. At first, I didn't think it went in, but it's a power play goal for the Blue Jackets. The boom got the hat trick. He now has the lead back again with 17 goals on the team. This will come at 15.46, the time of that power play goal. And it's a hat trick for Zach. Who, if you think about it, he started out a little slow this year. He's really come along here towards the latter part of this season. Yeah, he really he really has. I mean, he's been on fire here in the second half of the season for sure. 
Knocked into the Blue Jackets zone. It's Lynn Ball. Carries it down in. Oh, and there's a penalty. It's going to be a trip coming up on Allison. It's going to be a hold on Allison. Brunovich and Radovich on the assist. Power play is coming up now, though, at 16.01 for the falls as Allison goes on for the whole Blue Jacket penalty kill at 87.8%. Power play only at 15.9% for International Falls. Keep in mind, the Blue Jackets do have four shorthanded goals on the year. Oh, they got a double penalty, so coming in now is... Oh, what did he get a 10 for? He must have. Must have said something to the ref, huh? He had something else to say. <laughs> <laughs> so coming in to sit the two-minute penalty will be Erickson. There's a slap shot from the right point put on by Boyum and a glove save by Ewan. So Erickson will sit for the two minutes, and meanwhile, he'll have Allison sitting for eight more. 55 seconds to go in the period. Face off to the left of Ulan. Blue Jackets lead 5-0. Patrick here tonight for Zach DeBoe. Face off tied up in the circle and carried in behind the Blue Jacket net by Carney. Carney just zips it along the boards. Comes near the right wing half wall. Pitching way down to keep it alive as Boyum out near the right point. Pod Pascar. Back along the end wall, or excuse me, the right wing half wall, the right. Uh, Pascar's there tied up. Nick Versich giving him all sorts of fits. And he'll try to clear it. Kept alive at the right point by Boyum. Blue Jackets come away with it. And he get it up to Versich. Riley Versich, if he can catch up to it. Cuts in, shot, save! And he's not, it's a goal! It's a goal! They crashed into the goaltender, but it's a shorthanded goal for Riley Versich. And it's six to nothing. This will come at 16.42. At first, I didn't think Riley was going to gather it in, Randy, because that thing was kind of got away from him on the bounce. He picks it up down near the left circle, cuts in, and gets the shot off. And then Riley, the defender, just plasters Coleman into the net. Yeah, that was amazing. That was an amazing goal by Riley versus there. Short-handed goal for the Blue Jackets. The fifth one of the year for the Blue Jackets as they get the shorty. Six zip Blue Jackets. That's Madsen's third assist here tonight. Here's Lee with the puck. He'll just bring it out to the Blue Jacket blue line and we got a whistle. So, Blue Jackets in command of this one, six to nothing after two periods of play from the historic Hippie Memorial Arena. We'll be back with our second intermission coming up. You are listening to Blue Jacket Hockey right here on 106.3 WMFG. After two periods of play from the Hippie Memorial Arena, it's all Blue Jackets here, Randy. Six to nothing now as we'll start period number three in running time. Yeah, another, uh, another impressive period for the Blue Jackets. And uh, just kind of picked up uh, where they left off here in the first period and kept her going with uh, solid play in here in the second period. The Broncos will start the third period with still one minute and one second of a power play on the Allison holding penalty. But that's being served by Trevor Erickson as, well, Allison must have said something because they tacked on 10. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he must have had a word or two for the ref as he was skating over to the box. And the ref probably said, well, guess what? You're going to sit for another extra few minutes. Yeah, you're going to sit 10 more after the two is up here. So well, why don't you run down our stats from our second period? Well, Blue Jackets uh, would make it 5 to nothing. This at 15 minutes and 46 seconds. This time, this was a power play goal. And Zach DeBoom picking up the Hattie tonight with his 17th goal of the season. And gets the assist from Scott Brunovich and Logan Radovich. Then the Blue Jackets on shorthanded. 
It wasn't Parker Osborne this time. With the previous four shorthanded goals, it was Riley Versich picking up his first shorty of the year. And that coming at 16.42, and then the assist uh, from Dylan Matson on that goal. And then the penalties in the second period. The Broncos had one penalty for a total of two minutes. The Blue Jackets, two pe one penalty for a total of 12 minutes, the two-minute minor, and then a 10-minute misconduct assessed by two Allison. And goaltender saves in that period for Lane Skullman of the International Falls Broncos. He had nine for a two-period total of 20. And Ryan Eulin of your Hibbing Chisholm Blue Jackets, eight for a two-period total of 12. One power play goal in that period. One for one for the Blue Jackets on the power play here. And after two periods in the books, it's six Hibbing for Hibbing Chisholm Blue Jackets and zero for International Falls Broncos. Taking a look at scores, the only one I can find is down in Hermantown. Late in period number two, Hermantown on top of Cloquiasco Carlton by a score of three to one. If you're joining us late, it was Breck in overtime, the number two team in Class A over ninth rank St. Paul Academy, four to three. Breck comes from behind to tie that up and bring it to overtime, and they get the victory. Wow, what a score here. Benilde St. Margaret's just starting the third period. They're playing Bloomington Kennedy. Yeah. I think they're playing football. <laughs> it's 11 to nothing. Oh, boy. Wow. Oh, boy. That's a thumper there. Bemidji gets the victory up in Roseau tonight by a score of 5-3. to three. And the team we'll see tomorrow, St. Cloud Apollo, on top of St. Cloud Tech after 2, 4-3. to three. Hmm. Close game there. Yes. Look at this, though. St. Cloud Apollo's got to play three, go three games in three days. Yeah, it's a tough. That's a tough schedule. Yeah, they're that's playing. A tough time. Playing St. Cloud Tech tonight at the National yeah. Hockey Center in St. Cloud. They play us tomorrow night, and then they got to get up on Saturday morning, and get on a bus, because they're playing over at the Miners against Virginia at three on Saturday. Yeah, that's a tough, tough stretch for Apollo. And of course, here it's a six nothing lead for the Blue Jackets after two periods of play. And you know the thing that sticks out to me in this game is the way that the Blue Jackets have been able to move the puck against the Broncos to the point that you and I had commented a couple of times it was like it was a power play even though it was five on five. Yeah, a lot of a lot of times tonight it, it has seemed like it's been a power play for the Blue Jackets. Just, they're just moving the puck around, passing around that will tic-tac-toe across the ice and and uh, yeah, it's been, that's kind of been fun to watch. Only one score in girls action here tonight. And Proctor Hermantown went across the pond to play over in the Bay Area Civic Center in Ashland. They get the Port of Northern victory over the Hayward Co-op. No score being reported between Superior and North Shore or Duluth Marshall and Cloquet Esco Carlton. And I have no girls basketball scores. The girls are over in Virginia. So there you are. You're up to date on that. We'll come back with um, some more stuff for you. I, I, I've gathered a few things together because I, I knew we'd probably need them. We'll be back coming up with more of our second intermission after two periods of play right here from the historic Hibby Memorial Arena. It's a 6 nothing lead for the Blue Jackets over the Broncos. And you're listening to Blue Jacket Hockey on 106.3 WMF. Welcome back, everyone. After two periods of play here from the historic Hibby Memorial Building, it's a 6 nothing Blue Jacket lead over the Broncos. Hey, I do want to say thanks once again to General Waste for all your disposal needs to General Waste. Sullivan Candy and Supplier, Wholesale Candy and Supply Distributor, and Iricor International, Pioneers and Engineering the Last America Pipeliners, proud sponsors of Blue Jacket Sports. All right, some other things going on in the world of sports today. <laughs> Minnesota Twins unveiled their new uniform. Did you see it? New uniform? It's an alternate uniform, the Minnesota Twins. It's... It's a scarlet red uniform that they're going to only wear on Friday home games. It'll have a matching scarlet red cap, mini Paul patch on the sleeve, the TC logo right here on the left chest, and the trim's going to be in Casota gold, scarlet red, and navy blue. Oh, nice. I didn't see. Yeah, I didn't see that one. But you know what? I wish they would get rid of that blue. That. That dark blue home uniform, I wish they would get rid of that one. I, I hate that one. I wish they would replace it with this one. But that's cool. They're going to wear it on Friday night. A couple other things going on. If you didn't notice in uh, today's Duluth paper, but Duluth Marshall has announced 
that they will have no varsity football next year due to lack of numbers. They're going to try to play a JV football schedule next year, and hopefully the following year they'll have enough numbers to get back to a varsity schedule. If you're into this silly thing, I mean this sort of thing, the <laughs> Pro Bowl is Sunday on ESPN Sunday night. On Team Rice, Adrian Meets Peterson and Everson Griffin. On Team Irvin is Teddy Bridgewater, Anthony Barr, and Harrison Smith. Speaking of the Vikings, congratulations to linebacker Eric Kendricks. He was named NFC North Rookie of the Year. Nice. What else we got going on here? A couple of people by the name of Andrew C. Thomas and Alexandria Mandrysicki. They started a website called Advanced Hockey Statistics. Well, they've now been hired by the Minnesota Wild. Huh. Thomas will lead the Wild. He's going to be, his title is Wild Lead Hockey Researcher. Mandrecki is going to be the Hockey Operations Analyst. So there's your analytics for you. It took them a long time to get them, but now we finally have them yeah. in the Wild fold. Yeah, now, now we got them part of it. Senior Bowls this Saturday at 1.30. It's on the NFL Network. A couple of Gophers are on the team on the North Squad. It's Eric Murray. He's a defensive back. And in the South Squad, it's K.J. May, the wide receiver. Again, that's on NFL Network Saturday afternoon if you want to check it out. And I've got one more thing for you. Super Bowl 50 is right around the corner. Two things about the Super Bowl. One... Next year, they're going back to Roman numerals. A lot of people were complaining because it's SB50. Oh, and, and a lot sure. of people wanted the Roman numerals. Yeah. NFL's announced that starting next year, they'll go back to the Roman numerals. But Ron Rivera and Gary Kubiak, the two head coaches in Super Bowl 50, did you know this, will be the sixth and seventh head coach who have also played in a Super Bowl. Oh. They'll join... Dick Dungy, Greg Reeves, and White. Cool. cool. As cool. head coaches who also played in a Super Bowl. And the first, uh, is this the first time two Heisman Trophy? Uh, no. Number one. one. No. Number one. I think it's two number one picks, isn't it? Two I know number it. one picks, yeah. Yeah. The Heisman Trophy was last week. It was Carolina and uh, and uh, Arizona, the two quarterbacks. New, uh, is the two number one quarterbacks all, playing each other? All the two number and both uh, both number one seeds in uh, in uh, the Super Bowl for the first time in in a while, right? I believe so. Yes. I knew I had to gather some stuff because I figured it'd be a big crowd. When there's a big crowd, Chuck a puck has all sorts of orange all over the ice, and yeah. it takes them forever. It takes them a little extra time. But the, the uh, International Falls cheerleaders are here tonight, and they uh, assisted picking up the bucks. So uh, great job, girls, for uh, helping out our cheerleaders here tonight. Great Bo sportsmanship shown. Both goaltenders are staying in net. Eulen in the third, and Stallman as well. Blue Jackets will be moving right to left. Broncos will have a minute one of a power play. I do want to say thank you once again to Sullivan Candy and Supply, your wholesale candy and supply distributor. I record a national pioneers and engineering U.S. from their pipe liners and general waste for all your disposal needs. Choose general waste, proud sponsors of Blue Jacket Sports. Also want to give just a big shout out to Rodney's Hardy Sportsman's Sullivan Rump Funeral, Recover Health, Grateful Edge, Ranger Chef, Hampton Inn, Seppi, Giving Chrysler Center, Fairview Range, Arrow Auto, Chisholm Inn and Suites, Grandma's in the Park, Kettle River Pizza, Ford of Hibbing, and Hillcrest. All our fine sponsors that make these broadcasts possible, please patronize their business, or if you see them, thank them for being proud sponsors of Blue Jacket Sports. Here we go on the penalty kill for the Blue Jackets. Seppel and Nick Versich, Radovich and Prunovich, and the faceoffs won by the Blue Jackets. Brunovich just zips it down the ice. That'll roll all the way around near the right wing half on the Broncos zone. And with the puck now is Nemec. Nemec, right wing pass to Bernard. Bernard flips it to the Blue Jacket blue line. Tried to get it to Kostiuk. It's in behind the Blue Jacket net. Tipped away by Nick Versich. Then he'll flip into the right corner of the Blue Jacket zone. Brunovich fires it down the ice right on net. Skalman has to make the save. He'll hold on because Radovich was coming in. And I'm sure he's thinking, no, one short integral is enough. I'll just freeze this. Yeah, <laughs> don't want to give up another one there. 
We're in running time, so 16 seconds to go in the power play, and Trevor Erickson will pop out. Oh, and there's Jenny, and we need new face-off men. <laughs> face-off to the right of Skullman. Tied up in the left circle, now picked up, and we're back to full strength. So the Broncos 0 for 1 in the power play. Fired in, oh, and sneaking in. Pucks loose in front and gathered in. We got a four on two. Here's Perunovic. Right wing pass to Radovich. He's across the blue line. Sets it up, Perunovic. Back to Radovich. Takes the shot. Glove save. Knocked down anyway by Spalman. And right in front, try to hit Nick Versich, and it's tipped away at the last moment by the Broncos in the left corner. There's the booms. Got the hat trick. Put it down low to Radovich from Nick Versich. Comes to the left wing half ball. Nick Versich, left point. Zips it along. Down in behind the net now is Radovich. Radovich with the puck. Radovich just tying it up with 15-17 to go in the game. Here's Radovich into the right corner. Gets it out to the right point. And Perunovic trying to flip it back, and the Broncos flip it out to neutralize. Here's Perunovic with the puck. Perunovic tries to stick handle by. Centering pass, but it's behind the boom. Picked up by Riley Versic on the right wing half wall. To the boom. To the left circle. Tried to hit Matson with it. Tipped away by the Broncos. At center with the puck with his pod Pasker. It's going to be fired in on net. Ulan with the save. Psyching it. Tried to work it up to Versich, who tips at the center. Comes at the Blue Jacket blue line. Psyching him with the puck. Cross ice pass to Matson. Matson makes a little deke. Gets out to center. Gets to the Bronco blue line. It's tied up in front of the Bronco bench. And now it's flipped out to neutral again. Left wing pass, Knipes to DeBoom, who pushes it down in the left corner of the Broncos zone. 14-18 to go, we're in running time, Blue Jackets lead 6-0. Sykinen keeps it alive, coming off the half wall on the left side was Matson. right point, Knipes, shots blocked in front. Loose puck, Cofield. Cofield flips it to the Blue Jacket blue line, line change Broncos. Sykinen gathers it in, left wing pass to Matson. Matson dancing around near his own blue line. Knipes comes up with the loose puck. Right wing pass to Sykin in. Center skates. He couldn't see it. And it's flipped back out to center by the Broncos. And then Sykin in fires it in. Blue Jackets will finish up that line change. 13.40 to go in the game. 6-0 Blue Jackets. Out to center with the puck is Chris Costia. Taken away by Knipes at the Blue Jacket blue line. Left wing pass to Lee. Here's Lee. Cross ice on the right wing, too far for Les Garbo. Comes in along the end boards in the Broncos zone. Les Garbo right corner to Lee in the right circle. Couldn't pull the wood on it. There is a shot by Carney. Gets through traffic. Blocker saved by Skullman in the left corner of the Broncos zone. Picked up by Alleman. Alleman, his pass tipped out by O'Loughlin into the Blue Jacket zone. Line change Broncos. 13-03 to go. 6-0 Blue Jackets. Nice check on Carney at center. Play continues in the Broncos zone. Lee has it. Right circle. Centering pass. Oh, he threw it on net. And a nice save. Looked like he was trying to hit Bestel breaking in. And it was actually on net. Broncos will stick handle the center with the puck. His Boyum jumps it deep. With 12.34 to go. Center ice. It's Lee. Right wing pass to Nick Versich. Versich dumps it down in. Line change, Blue Jackets. Broncos pick it up from behind their own net. Long pass to the Blue Jacket blue line. The Lynn ball tipped down in the Blue Jacket zone. Brunovich, he'll leave it near the right corner for Knipes to Osborne. In the skates of Sapola. Brunovich picks it up. Brunovich left circle. Centering pass in front. Sapola buries it. And it's a goal. And this will come... Right around about 4.50 or thereabouts. That was a really nice play right on the tape to uh, Seppala, and Seppala buries that one. And Seppala, that's his fifth of the year. Blue Jackets have been outscoring their opponents 33-13 in the third period. Broncos have been outscored 27-25. I failed to mention that. But that's goal number five for Nick Seppala on the year. Blue Jackets up 7-0. 11 and a half to go. Right corner of the Blue Jacket zone. Thrown towards the net, but blocked, knocked down. <laughs> Ryan 
Ryan gets another assist. That's the second, second point of the year for Ryan Euler. 4.52 is going to be the time of that goal. Nice. Play continues in the blue tactic zone. Centering pass knocked away by Knight. In behind the net for the Broncos. They turn it over with Bernard. Osborne tried to center a pass. That actually hit the stick of Nemec. Now it's flipped to the Bronco blue line. Broncos pick it up, fired it right back into the Blue Jacket zone. Brunovich, long pass to Osborne. It's tipped in. No icing. Osborne in behind the Bronco net. He's ridden off the play. Broncos with 10 and a half to go. Trail 7-0 with the puck as Cofield turns it over at neutral ice. The boom with the hat trick has it. Tried to get it over on the left wing pass, but couldn't as it was deflected. Loose puck grab by O'Laughlin. Into the left corner of the Blue Jackets zone. And a pass off the wall by Erickson to no one in the left circle. Now here come the Blue Jackets. Out to center. The boom carries it across on the right wing. Trying to work it over now to Lampier, who's seen his first action here tonight. At center ice. Erickson with the puck. He'll backpedal near the Blue Jacket blue line. Right wing pass. Sets it up for Nick Versich. Picked up by Lampier. Right wing half ball. Centering pass. Hits the skate. Erickson shot from the right point. Hits traffic. At the right wing half ball in the Broncos zone. Kick down into the right corner for DeBoom. DeBoom carries it up the wall. DeBoom gets it right back from Erickson. Now along the end board in the Bronco zone with 9.20 to go. Lampier in behind the Bronco net. Left circle, Erickson. Left point, Sykinen. Wrist shots blocked. At the half wall, now down in the left corner. Blue Jackets try to dig it out. They do. Lampier deflected in front by the boom. And boy, nice save by the goaltender, Skalman. Yeah, a nice, uh, nice save there for sure. A couple of uh, that deflection out front. And here we go. Toop is coming in at the nine minute mark. Travis Tupa coming in in relief of Brian Newman, who pitched a shutout, saw 14 shots, and yeah. also has an assist. His second of the year, by the way. Yeah, I believe his first one was in Little Falls, wasn't it? Was it not? Um, first game of the year. Yeah, penalty think. coming up, the elbowing. I don't think it was Little Falls. I thought it was. I'll have to look it up. Oh, we got an elbowing penalty coming up. They're going to call it on Boyum. So Blue Jackets going on power play number two here tonight. Again, the power play for the Blue Jackets at 30.7. They're one for one tonight. Penalty kill at 85.2 for the Broncos. 8.07 to go and counting. 7-0 Blue Jackets. Face off to the left of Stallman. Discussion going on with the referee and I believe the captain Bernard. Bernard would like to know what's going on as to why they called the penalty. Knocked along the end boards in the Broncos zone. Osborne has it. Matson's out there. Sykinen's out there. Nick Versich is out there. And Les Garbo. Here's Sykinen, left point, left wing half ball sets it up for Matson. Manson with the puck, knocked off his stick, clear down the ice by the Broncos. Minute 13 to go in the Blue Jacket power play, 7.25 to go in the contest. You're listening to Blue Jacket Hockey, right here on Classic Hits Radio, 106.3 WMFG, having a service from Midwest Communications. In behind the net, left circle, Matson shot, saves, Gallman grabs the rebound and freezes it. 53 seconds and counting in the power play, still in the box is... Mr. Allison serving his 10 minute misconduct. I think he should be out around the six minute mark or something. Pretty close to that. Yeah, about 50 seconds or the next whistle thereafter. Face off controlled by the Broncos and from his knees flipping it down the ice with Brady Wright. Into the right corner of the Blue Jackets zone. 25 seconds to go in that power play for the Blue Jackets. Just over six and a half to go here in this contest. It's seven nothing Blue Jackets. Sykinen carries it deep. Checked up into the left corner, but gathering in the loose puck along the end boards is Osborne. Osborne 
To the right point to Nick Versich. Right wing half ball Osborne. Back to Versich. Versich gets it down low. Left circle. Matson couldn't pull the trigger. And a glove save on a slap shot from the left point by second in. And that should take care of that. And coming up, Allison should be out of the box in about a couple of seconds. There he is. Allison's out of the box after his 10-minute misconduct. 5.52 and counting. Face off now to the right of Stallman. Step on to draw, tied it up with Kostiuk. It's at the left wing half wall. And it rolls out to center. Perunovic with the puck. To Knipes. Chipped down the ice by Seppala. Right corner, Blue Jackets. In behind the net. That was Nick, or excuse me, Trevor Ertz. The puck gets it out to the blue line. Seppala. His shot's deflected off of skate of a Bronco, but gets on net. Nice save by Skullman as he kicks it in the left corner. Kurnovich, left point with 5.10 to go. Sets it over to the right point to Knights. Knights try to get it to the high slot to Seppala, and it's cleared down the ice by the Broncos. Kurnovich gives chase. He'll pick it up, carry it in behind the Blue Jacket net. And he's going to leave it over in the left corner for Seppala. Seppala can't clear it. Seppala battles along the end boards with Kostiuk. Tonight, left wing pass to Perunovic at the Blue Jacket blue line. He's at the center. Carries it across the Bronco blue line. Rolls off his stick to the half wall and pushed back out to neutral. Where Knipes picks it up. Sets it up for Prunovic. Prunovic down low, centering pass in front. And that's deflected in behind the net by the Broncos with 4.28 to go. Prunovic, right wing half wall. To Lamphere at the half wall on the right side. Lamphere still has the puck. Goes in behind the Blue Jacket net. And he's rubbed out on the play by Cofield. Comes to the right point, Prunovich with the puck, throws it back left circle on a one-timer, Lamphere. Just couldn't pull the trigger on it. 4.05 to go in the game, 7-0 Blue Jackets. That's center, it's Bernard, to that entry, and taken away by Knipes at the Blue Jacket blue line. Flip down the ice, there'll be no icing as it rolls into the Bronco left corner, just under four minutes to play. At the half wall, right side to Boom. Push down along the end board. Zaboom will give chase. Beckbar gets there first. Turns it over though. Here's the boom behind the net. Off the pass from Osborne. Back to the left point. Prunovic cycled down along the end boards. Radovich comes in front. Oh, and it just rolls through the crease. Osborne picks it up in the right corner. And he'll bank it off the boards. Tried to leave it there. Nice back check by the boom. 322 to go in the game. Osborne at the half wall on the right side. Now it's finally cleared out to center by the Broncos. And getting by, here comes Bernard. Left circle of shot sails up and over the top of Tupa. Tupa hasn't seen a shot yet. We've got 3.03 to go in this contest here. He came in at the nine minute mark for Ewan. At center, now it's the Blue Jacket Blue Line. Osborne with the puck. Osborne. Splits the D, comes in, shot, oh, and a save! It just trickles by the net. Skullman got a piece of it. Blue Jackets lead 7-0 with 2.40 to go in the contest. Carried across by the Broncos at the right circle, and now chipped out the center and fired up into the crowd on a deflection. Off a slapper from Boyum. It went way high. Yeah, it was. That went up <laughs> in the upper deck. That went up upper in the section. cheap seats back there. Yeah, upper section. Somebody got a souvenir up high. Oh, yeah. Back in the cheap seats. I think those cost a buck. You want to get a little lower, I think that's $4. <laughs> or wait, it's 6 bucks to get in, isn't it? Or is it 8 nowadays? I have no idea. I think, I, I don't know. Shot I have no from, idea. <laughs> shot from center is gloved by two and thrown into the right corner of the Blue Jacket zone. Two minutes ago, centering pass. Comes to the right wing, half wall lead, pushes it off the left wing boards. He's at his own blue line. Cross ice pass to Nick Versich. He's at center. Knocked off his stick. He regains control. He'll carry it back into the Blue Jacket zone. Out to Lescarbo at center. He'll give it off to Bestel. Bestel to the right circle. Bestel with the puck. Carries it in behind the net. Here's Bestel with the puck. He's going to leave it for Carney. Carney left wing half wall. Pushes it deep to Les Carbone to the left corner. 
Lee comes away with the puck. Gets it back to Carney at the left point. He'll dump it deep with 120 to go. Les Garbo in behind the Bronco net. Spins around along the end boards. Loose puck grabbed by Bestel. Bestel with the puck to Carney. Carney carries it deep into the left corner. Carney in behind the Bronco net with 105 to go. Knocked down momentarily. It's into the left corner. Bestel with the puck. Bestel spins around, puts it in behind the net. We're under a minute to go. Tied up along the end boards. And now fired down the ice by the Broncos. We'll have an icing coming up with 49 seconds to go in counting. Blue Jackets are going to be 19-1 and one on the season. Yeah, yeah, it's an impressive mark here for the Blue Jackets. Very impressive. Now they just got to keep her rolling along here. Our final game of the year coming up. Shot put on from the right point by Knipes. A glove saved by Stallman. We'll have another face off to the left of him with 23 seconds to go. Blue Jackets up, seven zip. Seppola with the puck. Centering pass, Lampier, and it just sails wide. He was between the circles. Knocked into the right corner of the Broncos zone. Just tying it up is Alleman. Smart play. Three seconds to go, two seconds to go. That'll be it. That's the whistle. That's the ball game. 7 nothing. Blue Jackets get the victory here tonight over International Falls. And that's going to be shutout number five on the year for Ryan Mullen with a little help and assistance from Travis Tupa the last nine minutes of this ball game. But the Blue Jackets very impressive here tonight with a 7 or nothing victory over International Falls. And with that, like I said, the Blue Jackets are now 19-1-0 on the season. International Falls drops to 9-11-1. Our post-game show is up next. It's Blue Jacket Hunt, and it's right here on 106.3 WMFC.